Good morning, YouTube. Today I'm bringing you a Wi-Fi battle against Pokemon Legend Wild Chase. Now, before I get into the team preview, uh, I want to tell you all a little something. Uh, I took this battle really seriously. And the reason why I took this battle really seriously is because uh, back when I was a Pokemon noob, as they say, uh, I challenged Wild Chase on Smogon and... Uh, he destroyed me. It was like my first ever rain team. I finally got into weather and it was like demolishment. I think it was like a 4-0 or 5-0. It was like a really bad defeat and uh, he didn't say good game, didn't respond to any of my comments, just just treated me like I was nothing. Which really did, uh, it, it, it really bothered me because I was like thinking this wild chase guy sounds so nice in his videos but just... I was like a nobody to him, so in my mind, I'm like, it's payback time. So as soon as I saw, uh, as soon as I saw him in smoke, and I immediately challenged him. So looking at his team, he did use a Breloom last time, and I ended up beginning with my Politoed, and he spored me. So uh, this time I was thinking of trying something different. But uh, yeah, Breloom's pretty much going to be pesky, and uh, if it gets the you know spore off in the Swords Dance, Terrakion's most likely uh, going to be scarfed or banded. Alakazam could be Focus Sash, Life Orb, Rotom could be scarfed, could be bulky set. The Genesect it's probably scarfed, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like you know Flame Charge, Expert Belt, Rock Polish, and then. Garchomp uh, is most likely going to be Scarf, so I'm not really sure if he's running a Stealth Rock user. Like, if he is, then it's either going to be Terrakion or Garchomp, but uh, those are pretty strange Pokemon to put a Stealth Rock on, but they actually work because they force switches out, so. And I was thinking, uh, I have a couple of Pokemon that I could begin with. Uh, I don't want to begin with Reuniclus, Tyranitar, Caesar, or Rotom. Because if he starts with the Breloom like he did in our very uh, last game, like the very first time we played uh, all those months back, then he's probably going to uh, predict me to begin with my Weather Starter because he did remember me. The person in the chat did remember me. So as you can see here, I send him my bullet, pe bullet head and he does send out his Breloom. So he's pretty much just like, oh yeah, I remember this guy, Scrub, Flamethrower, get worked, son, get worked. I'm not the same kid from your memories. Now I can fend for myself. So Breloom first turn gets destroyed, which is very beautiful. Uh, I would have suspected that the Heat Ran was like scarfed, which I am. But now I'm going to switch out because I value Heat Ran, and I'm just going to send in my Do You Dirty. So he does go for Stealth Rock, which I didn't expect. Um, so that's interesting. A, a tank version of Garchomp. Now he's going to withdraw his Garchomp, expecting the Hidden Power Ice or the uh, Hydro Pump, and. I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump, don't want to overpredict too early in the game. And uh, I see that he has leftovers, which is also good for me, knowing that he's the bulky set in. My Rotom is faster, since I do run some speed, and the Will-O-Wisp does miss, which doesn't really matter. Um, I was thinking that he might switch his, like, you know, switch out into something else, but Wild's known to Volt Switch and U-Turn, so I probably should have saw that coming anyway. And here he's going to go for a substitute. I thought he would just go straight for the attack, so I just clicked a Volt Switch just in case he like randomly calm minded or something, but he's not gonna be setting up on me. I'm just going to go ahead and uh break that sub and I'm going to send in my Secretary of Defense soft baked because one I would uh, like to get sand up even though it doesn't even matter, to be honest. Like it doesn't really matter since most of his Pokemon aren't even uh, don't, aren't even affected by the Sandstorm damage. But here he's going to go for the Focus Blast, which I knew that he had. And like everybody and their mother runs Focus Blast on Alakazam, so I didn't really care since you know Soft Baked really can't do much to his team. It's like a lot of people are like running anti Tyranitar team, so Soft Baked faints, but that's fine because now I can send in KY Jelly, who is going to be able to set up a Trick Room. Even though uh, this Shadow Ball, super effective as high as Alakazam's special attack is, will not one-hit KO the KY Jelly, so I'm glad that I run additional bulk. So now it's time to place up that Trick Room, and this is where it gets fun. I know that Wild Chase is going to withdraw, expecting the Shadow Ball, and just like I said in my previous videos, Hidden Power Fire on that Reuniclus is really doing work. So get worked again. Get worked 
again. Hidden Power Fire is going to destroy this genus sect with ease. Like, Smogun really needs to put Hidden Power Fire on uh, Reuniclus. I don't get it. I really don't. But anyway, the battle's going to continue. He's going to send in his guard chomp. And I'm just going to go for the sidekick, and Life Orb plus Max Special Attack is going to take this Garchomp down by about 60%, which is really beautiful. And now he's going to do the Dragon Claw and take out the KY Jelly. And here in this next turn, I'm actually caught off guard because, uh, as you can see, you know, Trick Room is still up. So I'm going to go ahead and send in my Caesar, who I thought was slower than Garchomp. But he goes for the Fire Blast, so I'm thinking, oh, he's probably running a speed minus nature. Like, he's like a mixed attacker. He doesn't want, you know, a special attack or physical attack to go down. So, Caesar got destroyed, so I guess Breloom and Caesar both uh, were surprised by unexpected odds. But now I'm going to send in Do You Dirty, and he's going to go for the Dragon Claw, and Do You Dirty, uh takes that pretty well. It's, you know, it's bulky set in. Hydro Pump is going to clean up this Garchomp, so things are looking, uh, pretty good. I still have momentum, even though a Caesar, a major Pokemon for this team, uh, fainted, and Trick Room wore off, so he's going to be able to send in his, uh, Alakazam and go for the Psychic, which was actually okay with me. You know, it's okay with me because my heat ran is scarfed, which I don't believe he suspects. He did not ex he did not suspect the heat ran to be scarfed. So here, I'm going to go for the focus bla uh, fire blast and it misses. And he goes for the focus blast and it misses. So I was like, if the focus blast hit, that would have been BS. But now I'm going to go for the fire blast again, and that's going to clean up this Alakazam. So scarf Tran does put in work. It really does. I'm not sure why people don't use it anymore. But now he's going to send in Terrakion, and here I'm like just going to leave Heat Ran in as Death Fodder just to see if it's scarfed. And since it's not scarfed, I know that it's most likely Choice Band. So as soon as I saw that in my mind, like the light bulb just clicked as good game because it's over. Uh, he's most likely locked into close combat. And my remaining Pokemon is Faulu, the Latios, who has choice specs. So the special defense boost isn't going to be helping him because I'm hitting him for that physical damage. So he's going to withdraw, which really didn't even matter. I'm like, uh, he should have just, I guess, kept the Rotom in. But I guess he was thinking that I was Scarfed. And I don't think Psy Shock will one-hit KO um, Terrakion if it's at max health and the uh, Latios is Scarfed. But this is specs, so... Rotom is going to get destroyed, and then all he has left is his Terrakion is going to get destroyed by that spec Psy Shock. So, uh, good game, Wild Chase. Uh, I did say good game to you after the battle, but you ignored me like you did last time. So, uh, yeah, it, it's just a game. Losing isn't that serious. You destroyed me. I didn't take it seriously. I just got motivated to get better and destroy you right back. So, uh... This is Unhappy Carousel, signing out. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope all of you have a good day.